Hi, in the last video I installed Apps Launcher and have since, you can see, used the opportunity to clean up my apps and extensions in the main menu bar. So my apps are now all contained in here and only those extensions that I want to be one click away from my Pinterest button, my Pearl Trees button, or my Google Keep, in my case, um, are out on that bar. So it's a lot less crowded and, and easier to access. Okay, we're now going to look at something to help you manage um, both your apps and extensions, and it's called Extensions Manager. Notice it is an extension. And let's get a little information about it. So this is one that actually gives you a video so that if you click this, you'll get a little um, a little more interactive kind of introduction into what it does. Of course, reviews, support, and related programs. But I'm just going to add it to Chrome at this point. And I'm going to read through what it can do. It can display notifications. It can manage my apps, extensions, and themes. And it can read my data on all Google user content.com sites, uh, chrome.google.com, and clients2.google.com. So it can get information from various Google sites. Okay, let's take a look. So here it is up in the toolbar. When I click on it, you'll notice there's a long list of applications, extensions, and themes if I've installed them. Some are checked, some are unchecked. Um, it gives me the icon, the ability to delete them or remove them completely from Chrome right here. Um, the ability to get some information about those particular apps. And this looks a little unwieldy, so if I wanted to uh, look at it in a more organized version. I can simply click on extensions. Now I'm only looking at my extensions, so you can see these are the ones that are currently active. Uh, the ones without the check are ones that are installed on the system, but but have been disabled temporarily. And if I wanted to get rid of them, I could simply click the trash can. I can do the same for applications. Themes, if I had them. I can look at them only by things that are enabled, so this would include both extensions and apps but things that are enabled. My entire list of uh, disabled items, which might be an idea to go through these and remove some of them if I haven't used them. And another search for um, recently, recently added or deleted items. There's a link directly to the web store. And these buttons I would mostly stay away from. This one is uh, switch on, which can just turn everything that's off on. So kind of a pain if you um, don't want them all on. This one will turn everything in the view off. Uh, and this one over here on the right has got some options. Um, I find that most people really don't want to take the time to configure these. And that's fine. Everything's on by default. It has to do with notifications you could receive. And different options you want displayed. So do you want to have that show extensions view, show applications view, etc. But as I said, for the most part, these are um, fine as they are. Most people are not going to come in here and do anything with them. So this is just a convenient way to turn on and off extensions applications, kind of to review what you have and to manage the environment.